Just getting ready to head out for early antlerless here in Minnesota. I haven't even been out bow hunting yet. Usually I'd have a number of sits in by now. Locked and loaded, ready to go. I just got out and got set up here along this field edge right here. I'm overlooking a cut bean field. This is an all shotgun zone for deer but pistols are legal. So I have an AR pistol, APF, uh, caliber 308. I've used it for a number of years now. I have a feeling we're gonna get some shooting tonight. Looks like we got a doe that's gonna give us a shot. There's just enough of a hill that all I can see is her head. <laughs> I had the camera on her, got ready to take a shot. She took off running. She stopped at about 200 yards. 200 yards is a long shot to shoot off her knees, but I knew I could do it. So I put it on her and dropped her in her tracks, but I didn't get it on camera. <laughs> Dang it. There are so many deer here in central Minnesota that we need to take basically as many does as we can. Got another doe. Well, we got some work to do. It was a very successful night out hunting. We got three nice does for the freezer and helping to reduce that population and bring the herd back into its carrying capacity. So we got them tagged up, time to load them in the truck. Um, I just got back from about 10 days in Colorado where I was successful on an elk hunt. By the looks of the trail cam pictures that I was getting while I was gone, would have been a good week to be in the whitetail woods. The rut's kicking in. I kind of miss the pre-rut from looking at trail cams over the last couple years. It's really looked like about the 19th to the 23rd is the best time, at least on the properties that I hunt, where big bucks start getting on their feet and looking for those first receptive does. And then actually once you get into November, they uh, seem to be traveling more at night and probably locked down with does during the day. I'm being really quiet on purpose obviously because even though there's a field you know 40 yards over here I'm in the transition between field and it goes right into bedding. All right time to be quiet start hunting.
things happen too fast. But uh, I just shot a buck with my bow. I don't think I'm gonna walk up and think he's a giant, but he's definitely a nice deer. I'm gonna give him a little bit of time and then uh, go check him out. Looks like the uh, dead meat did its job. Good blood all the way along the shaft. Let's go check him out. Look at this guy. Oh man, nice Minnesota eight pointer right there. You can hear the dog barking in the background. We're not too far actually from the landowner's house. Uh, the dog knows we're out here and uh, is barking away up at the house. In the last five days, I took a nice bull out in Colorado. And then this is the first night out in the deer stand here. He was rutting, he was chasing a doe. He came right through the swamp behind me, chasing her for a couple hundred yards and then game out. There was actually a bunch of does and fawns right around me, but in order for me to, I had to spin all the way around in the deer stand to get a shot at him. And I thought for sure all those does were gonna spook, but they were actually focused on what was going on with him. The doe that he was chasing and him went straight downwind to me, did not spook. And uh, he took off after her again. I had to stop him and uh, looks like the dead meat. And the Prime CT5 did its job. Nice double long hit. It didn't go more than about 50 yards. So nice easy track job. Well, as far as bucks in Minnesota, I'm tagged out. I'm pumped. This is a nice, nice looking deer. Yeah.